Hi, my name is Leah Day, and welcome to this free motion quilting project video. Today we are continuing in the background, uh, the rays of Express Your Love, and I am stitching out with Isochord in an orange color called Pumpkin to create that, still working on that uh, nice bright sun effect that we're going for in the background of this particular version of the quilt. And again, I am working with a design that I really changed quite a bit from the original project video. Uh, the original uh, design, uh, it's called Flock of Geese. Uh, when I first stitched that out, I had an idea in my head and I just simply wasn't able to stitch it three years ago. Uh, I sat down when I was creating the samples uh, to uh, stitch out several of the designs again for the book and finally was able to capture exactly what I wanted, what exactly what I was going for that original time. But this is a very special design because it requires what I call assisted marking. Now, marking and free motion quilting is one of those things that a lot of people get confused about. A lot of quilters seem to think that because we're free motion quilting, we don't mark anything at all. And that's true in a certain sense. You know, there's a lot of fillers that you don't mark anything with them. You just flow through the area of the quilt and it's done. But I would say that there is a whole host of filler designs that are gorgeously quilted uh, but they need a little bit of assistance and this is one of them and the reason being it's just a little tricky to completely freehand it. Uh, you can but it might not always be easy to get it to look good. So I really want to cover this. Uh, I am going to be using this Fonz & Porter ceramic marking pencil. I love this pencil because it goes on nice and bright white, uh, but it also brushes off or erases off with the eraser very, very easily so it doesn't stay in the quilt. So let me show you exactly how this design is going to work. So first up, I've taken one of these rays here and I just marked this nice gentle wiggly line and basically that has kind of cut the ray in half and I'm going to fill this ray with flock of geese and here's how the assisted marking comes in. The part that is pretty easy to freehand is the triangle shape, that part. You can pretty much, let me move the quilt so that way you can see it a little bit better, you can pretty much freehand that as you're quilting. The part that's a little tricky is the straight line that comes across. That is a, just a little trickier. So what I do is I just go through the area and I just mark those straight lines so that way they bend and curve with that nice curving line. And it's like I'm creating a, a channel and those triangles are going to come up through that area. And these lines just simply mark the base of that triangle. Just be a little bit easier to work this design with these marks. So with that marking out of the way, let's learn how to quilt this new form of flock of geese. Basically I've gone through and outlined those two parallel wiggly lines and now I'm just going to start my triangles inside. I'm going to travel stitch up, stitch across along that marked line, and then form the triangle. And I'm just aiming to hit the middle of the line above. So here I'm going to travel stitch, come up, form my triangle. The key here is just maintaining a really nice consistent stitch as you're travel stitching. And then also as you're stitching up with your triangle, just kind of estimate your space as you're working into that area. Because right here I'm just estimating and trying to hit the middle of the line on top. That's why those lines are come in so handy, because they give you something to kind of gauge for. When I tried stitching this and I didn't have that marked line, that little assistance, I just found myself, um, well, really making a mess of the triangles more than anything else. And uh, we don't want to make a mess on our quilts. It's no fun. And really, this is inspired by all those beautiful pieced quilts that we're seeing with all those freeform flock of geese triangles. You know, they, they're able to, I guess it's paper piecing, paper piece those beautiful triangles into all different curves and angles. And I just looked at it and thought, well, I think that looks a little bit like chain of pearls. You know, our channels with circles stitched into them. Why can't we just do that with triangles? And that's where the inspiration for this design came from. So 
So I hope that's helped you to see how marking through an area is not more time consuming. If anything, it's going to save you time by giving you something to visualize, something to see as you're stitching through a design like Flock of Geese. Uh, it's one of those designs that just needs a little bit of assistance. It doesn't need the whole thing marked out, uh, otherwise a stencil would probably make more sense in that case, uh, but it does need a little bit of assistance just to make it just a little bit easier to see and visualize and work through the space. Now, when it comes to working through these rays, and you've got a lot of little places to hop, skip, and jump over, you might be wondering, well, how do you mark kind of a consistent wiggly line through that? And for that, I would advise using something like this. This is the Wave Edge Ruler. I absolutely love this ruler, and there's actually a longer one, too. They're really, really fun because you can just mark those wiggly lines and create two parallel channels. It works wonderfully, and I, I just absolutely love that template. You might want to do some just different searches or look in your local quilt shop for that ruler and that will definitely help you form this consistently. Another idea if you absolutely don't want to go out and buy that specific ruler is to mark a channel onto a piece of paper or template plastic. Mark it long enough, get that nice curving line that you're wanting, cut it out and use that as the template for all of the rays that you plan to use this design within. So I hope that makes sense. My name is Leah Day with the Free Motion Quilting Project. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to stitch this new form of flock of geese. Definitely get on the Free Motion Quilting Project and check out more videos on stitching through this beautiful goddess quilt, Express Your Love. We're working on this together, linking up, sharing inspiration on Fridays, so make sure to join in the fun. You can find all of that and more at freemotionproject.com. Until next time, let's go quilt.